Hi. I'm Antonio Centeno. I'm the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, gentlemen, I'm going to give you nine tips on how to deal with itchy skin, with dry skin during the winter time. Now, me personally, I do suffer from this. I live in Wisconsin. It gets cold here, and the weather changes. When it gets cold, it gets really dry. That cold weather sucks the moisture right out of the air. And I can tell you, especially around you know my ankles, uh, on my arms. I get a lot of itching. In fact, sometimes I itch my legs so much that they started to bleed. And it was something that I had to take seriously because I, I've got kids as well and they suffer from it. So it's one thing to put it off if it's you, but I think, you know, when you start thinking of others. And with that, I've learned quite a few things. So I'm going to be giving you guys a lot of details here. Now, I'm not going to give you brands. And the reason being is a lot of this changes. There's way too many of them. I'm going to list them on the the, basically the support article. So go over to Real Men Real Style, check out the article. I'm going to have a list of brands that I recommend. Ones that I've tested personally, my wife has tested, our family has tested so that you can go out there, purchase these and test and experiment. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the nine tips. Tip number one is warm showers not hot showers. So there's a key difference. Uh, I don't have the exact temperature breakout, but I would say try going with a little bit cooler of a shower. Now, my friend Brett over at the Art of Manliness has talked about cold showers. I'm not going to say you have to do cold showers, but if you're taking a hot shower, consider turning the temperature down because that hot water, it strips your body of the oils, which do a great job of helping to moisturize your skin. So you don't want to be taking incredibly hot long showers. The second part is one shower a day or keep that shower a bit shorter. If you're going to be taking two showers, I know some of you guys go to the gym in the morning then may, or you go in the evening so you've got to maybe shower afterwards, but keep your shower shorter then. But ideally, you want to only be having one shower a day and keeping it a little bit shorter during the winter time. Uh, maybe take what we call Navy showers, which is getting in and out pretty darn quick. Okay, so tip number three is use gentle show, soaps. So you want to be looking at the ingredients in the soaps, if they've got perfumes, if they got, if they're antibacterial, if uh, they've got deodorants in them, you want to be careful of those type of soaps. Now, I'm going to give you, again, I'm going to link to soaps, which I recommend, which are very gentle, very safe over in the article. So, go check that out. Okay. So, point number four is don't use a washcloth or a loofah. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, those things that you, and to be honest, this was a hard one for me. I really like using a washcloth. I just feel when I use it on my face and my body, I feel extra clean. Well, again, you're stripping off all those oils. You're being a bit rough to the skin and that can lead, especially during the winter time, to a lot of itching and dry skin. What to use instead? Use your hands. Right there, very simple and just use your hands to wash your body. So, point number five is only wash key areas with soap. So, a lot of times when we get in the shower, we like to, and you know who you are, you like to wash yourself from head to toe, soap everywhere and you probably even do it two times. Avoid doing that. Maybe once a week you can go head to toe, but on a daily shower, focus in on the areas, the armpits, the crotch area. Those areas are the ones that you want to focus in on using the soap on. And you know, you don't have to wash head to toe every time you go into the shower. Now, point number six is make sure to put on a moisturizer or a lotion or a cream, whatever it is that you've got that you're using afterwards, minutes and within three minutes of getting out of the shower. And the reason being, at this point, your body is going to be most receptive to taking in that moisturizer and really getting in into the skin. Again, that's within three minutes of getting out of the shower. Some people I know even apply it in the shower uh, at, right before they even get out of the shower and fully dry off and that probably works as well. Uh, number seven is experiment. Now, I just talked about moisturizers, but there is a big difference between moisturizers, uh, lotions, ointments and creams. Um, ideally, you want to be, if you're suffering from dry skin, you want something that if you were to turn it upside down, it's not going to immediately fall out because water content and water is a big point big part of most uh, moisturizers out there. You want something that's going to be a little bit thicker and really is going to do a better job. Now, again, I'm going to list over at Real Men Real Style a complete list of moisturizers, creams and ointments that I've used, that I've tested, that I think are pretty darn good. But you know, if you want to add some down below in the comments, I would love to hear from you guys. But this is something that every man is different and you're going to have to experiment. You're going to have to try a few different ones out there and find what works for you. Uh, number eight is go ahead and start using a humidifier. So, 
a lot of this happens outside of the bathroom. Yes, you're in the shower for, you know, you're in the bathroom for 15, 30 minutes a day, but outside of that, you're in your house a lot longer than that. Consider using uh, a humidifier, multiple rooms in the house. Ideally in your house, you want to be at about 45 to 55% moisture. The last tip, point number nine, drink a lot of water. And I'm talking about a gallon a day. A lot of us just are dehydrated throughout the day. You need to be trying to drink at least eight glasses of water. I think that, you know, assuming that it adds up to about a gallon, uh, whatever, three liters, I guess, if you're over in, uh, if you're over in Europe. The point is, gentlemen, start drinking more water. From the inside out, you want your skin to be able to moisturize itself, to be able to produce its natural oils. The only way it's going to be able to do that is if you are drinking enough water. Okay. So if you have some serious skin issues and none of these tips help, go see your doctor. There are some serious skin issues out there. And guys, it is something that you should take seriously, especially if you're itching to a point where you're actually bleeding, uh, go get yourself taken care of. All right, guys, I'll see you in the comments and the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.